originally started in Pomona, California, and I uh, always grew up around music. Uh, music was like always in our household. You know, my dad was a writer. His works include uh, such songs as Such My, Just My Imagination from uh, Temptations, Still Waters Run Deep, Smiling Faces uh, from Undisputed Truth. So he was a writer of Motown, so I always grew up in music. and. Um, you know, that's where I first started in Pomona, California, you know, back growing up in the 70s, listening to a lot of hip-hop, Grandmaster Flash, and Parliament. And I always knew, ever since I was five years old, I, you know, this is where I wanted to be in the music. Yeah. You're working hard, and it's evident. How long have you been an artist? Well, I've been an artist, um, well, professionally making records for like uh, 24 years. But, you know, I was always dibble dibbling and dabbling, you know what I'm saying, in the early 80s, in the late 70s, and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, one thing that that I'm drawn towards is, is, is the soulful sound, because we grew up with a lot of soul music playing in the household with my grandparents, uh, around my uncles and aunties, it was just soul music. So that kind of led me on the direction to, 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 do what I do today as far as incorporating uh, G-Funk and different other sounds like that, you know. And what gives you the inspiration to do what you do? Um, music is my life. Music is like my family. Music is the air I breathe. I mean, it's in me and not on me. You know, I always, um, always was a, a writer. You know what I'm saying? Well, even when I was like uh, seven years old, I was right. I was always right. And of course, you know, waking up every day and seeing my beautiful wife and, and uh, beautiful eight children, and uh, just look at all the fans that always supported the cocaine sound. You know, that keeps me driving and keeps me passionate about music. And uh, you know, I'm from that era where, where where you had to do real music. Nowadays, it's so much like the Terminator robots, and robots don't have no horn. So, you know, my thing is I keep it old school, I keep it funky, I keep it soulful, and that's what you get out of cocaine. What do you think of the music industry at the moment? Um, it's changing. It's changing back for the good. I, I'm not going to say, I can't knock nobody else's hustle. I, don't, I mean, no, nobody else's style. I don't, I'm not here to do that. But... You know, it's going back to the real music, and especially in hip hop, it's going back to the real lyrics. You know, because a lot of stuff, you know, over the course of uh, six years, in my humble opinion, it became artificial flavors. You know, they ran away from the, the music, the analog sound, the, the substance in the music. It seemed like everybody want to go pop an X pill, go in the club and something. And that's nothing wrong with that if that's your thing. But, the way the music I was brought up on, you know, you had to have substance in it and talk about something because music is not here just to be hearing. It's to, it's to, it's to be instrumental in helping change people's life because some of the music that I did, you know, I have fans come up and say, man, your music helped raise me. Like I had a song um, off this album when I was on Ruthless Records, I did Funk Upon a Rhyme. It was called Funk Upon a Rhyme, produced by Code 187. And I did a song called No Pain, No Gain. That song to this day touched so many lives. I mean, it, that song was played at so many funerals, Easy e funeral all over the world. So, you know, my thing is, is that music is coming back to that substance again. And I'm glad, I'm glad it's coming back around. You know, it's about time, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. What would you like to leave as your contribution to the industry? Um something that that they can feel inspired by you see what i'm saying because i you know i've always been an artist that no matter if i talk talk about pipping a hole in the song or or no matter if i talk about uh 
uh, life's different situation. Whatever the melodies and the music that come across, I want you to be inspired. Because at the same time, we're supposed to have music with substance, I feel. But it's also an entertainment business. So that's why, you know, if it draws in different situation and, 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 and accumulates a fan base and you're making money out of it, I don't knock these young brothers for doing that because at the same time it's an entertainment business. Right? Do you have any projects that you are currently working on or in the pipeline? Oh yeah, I got that stay winning. I'm promoting that right now. That's my single that's out right now. and. Um, uh, it's, it's going back to that, that real G-Funk essence, you know, back to that Uncle Sam's curse and uh, Funk Upon a Rhyme and Living Like Hustlers when we was all at Rufus Records. So, you know, I'm going back home with it. And, you know, the good response is, is there. You know, people, you know, I get a lot of a lot of hits on my Facebook and Twitters and they say, man, we appreciate you never changing the way your sound is, cocaine. And, you know, that makes you feel good because, you know, if, if a lot of people quacking like a duck, it seems like a million other people want to quack like a duck. And I always wanted to keep that integrity of the music raw and uncut. So, you know, as far, as far as I'm concerned, as an artist is concerned, um, it's, it's just a blessing to be able to be accepted, not by my generation, but by a whole new younger generation. It's a beautiful thing because via in internet, they're understanding what my placement was in both the law as far as they're concerned, placement in the history books. And a lot of people wasn't talking about that. But the good thing about it, people are starting to pick up on it, not just in the States, but really worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Who was the creators of G-Funk? And that was really, that was really above the law and cocaine doing And everything else, of course, you can't knock your quicks and drays and different other things like that and your battle cats. But the, you know what I'm saying? We, we came with an essence that was different from everything else. Plain and simple. And we didn't get the shot we thought we deserved, maybe because of Eric's death, Eric Easy, right? Big up to him. Also, big up to my boy KMG, rest in peace. But years later, after 24 years later, you know, it's a blessing to see an 18 year old say, man, I'll ride to that, 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 that bomb music that you was doing. And that let me know that, 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 that I did something right and continue to do something right through my music. You know what I mean? Name three things that define you and why. Um, strength, humility, um, and passion. Where would you like your work to take you in five years? Um, basically to hand a baton to the next generation. And more so, I'll always continue to do music but more so be involved into the business aspect. And uh, by me handing the baton down, I have a daughter, Anissa Long, and uh, she's, she's so hot as far as the R&B is concerned, she's gonna shut it down. You gotta, I ain't gonna compare it to Aaliyah, but she's in her own life, she's articulative, and, I mean, intelligent, a writer. I mean, she, she, I mean, the fruit don't fall for short from the from the tree, you know what I'm saying? So, and also I'm working on different um, uh, acts myself. You know, like I have artists like Baby Love and, and uh, Gorilla Dog and different other people that I have on the roster that's coming through and, and uh, getting that brand out there, Cocaine Buddy Boy Entertainment Brand. You dig? So, you know, basically at the end of the day. Um, it's important for, for, for me to reach out a wide audience worldwide because now it's time because people want to really know who Cocaine is because they know the voice but they don't really know the face. You see what I'm saying? So now we put paint where it ain't and with the help of Big Ups to Soul, you know what I'm saying? For helping with the push, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lovely situation. Last but not least, what would you like to say to your aspiring friends, fans, and people you've met along your journey or life? Um, basically, keep God in your life. Whatever you do, stand up on the family stru structure. Because this game is like illusion, you know what I'm saying? 
don't, 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 don't get sucked into to the illusion of the music industry. You know, it has to be some type of grounding uh, so you can sustain, so you don't be one hit wonder, so you don't die over those. You know, you gotta have your mind right then hop in the line, right? You know, and that's what cocaine say you did. <laughs> So, this ends the interview. Hope all is well. You know, big ups to Soul Central out there. I appreciate all the love. We coming at you worldwide. The OG Legendary Cocaine. Stay Winning is the new single. September the 10th is out. If it ain't out already, you did. It's leading up and setting up the album, which is coming out next year. It's called Shut the Fuck Up and Cut the Check. So you heard first from the legendary cocaine. Big ups, Avalanche. See y'all.